In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the inverse function rule to find the derivative. The inverse function rule is a way to find the derivative of the inverse of a function without actually having to find its derivative. Now that may sound confusing to you, but this is how it's done. First, you find the derivative of the actual function, and then find the inverse of that function, if possible. Then substitute it into the formula above shown right here. With that being said, the question reads, use the inverse function rule to find the derivative of the inverse for f of x is equal to x to the power of 6. So we'll start by finding the derivative of this function. We have f prime x is equal to 6x to the power of 5. Notice that I use the power rule here. The next thing is to find the inverse of that function. So instead of f of x, I'm going to use y. I have y is equal to x squared. And to find the inverse of a function, you solve for the independent variable. In our case, it's x. We can solve for x by powering both sides to 1 over 6. So we have the sixth root of y is equal to x. And then you substitute where you see a y with x and where you see an x with y. So this becomes the sixth root of x raised to the power of y. This right here is the inverse function. Lastly, we have to substitute what we found here into this formula. So we have the derivative of the inverse is this. The derivative of the inverse is equal to 1 over the derivative, which is right here, 6x to the power of 5. And in place of the x for our derivative, we will put in the inverse which is this part. So I'll substitute where I see an x with my function. So I have the sixth root of x raised to the power of 5. Now you can simplify further. The sixth root of x is the same thing as saying x to the power of 1 over 6. And if we have this power raised to a power of 5, we multiply the powers together, giving us 5 over 6. So you can write it as that, or you can leave it like this. What you see on your screen on the right side is the derivative of the inverse without having to find it using the rules of derivatives. Let's move on to b. This time we have 3x raised to the power of negative 2. So I'll start with the power rule, bring this negative 2 down as a factor. 3 times negative 2x and subtract 1 from negative 2, that's negative 3. This is our derivative. Now we can find the inverse. I'll set this equal to y, so I have y is equal to 3, and at the bottom, instead of writing x to the power of negative 2, I can write down x to the power of 2. That's the negative exponent rule. I'll solve for x, multiply both sides by x squared, divide both sides by y, and square root. So we have the square root of 3 over y, which I'll replace with x, is equal to y. This right here is the inverse of our function. And now if I want to find the derivative of this inverse, I'll take 1 over, my derivative was this, that's negative 6, x to the power of negative 3, I'll place that there. And instead of x to the power of negative 3, I'll write it underneath. So I have 1 over x to the power of 3, I'll replace the x with this, the square root of 3 over x, and this is being raised to the power of negative 3. So if we make it 1 over x to the power of 3, we will raise this to the power of 3. And of course, you can simplify this now further, although this is the extent in which we will go for this question. So this is equal to the inverse derivative. Now, if you would like to see the answers to questions C and D, which are a little more advanced, make sure you watch part 2, and we'll see you soon.